Hello, friends. Okay, so I'm excited to open this box. It's the not so little box of crochet <laughs> from November. I was able to grab one of these beauties um, on the little box of crochet past boxes Etsy store. And I've been waiting for it to come and it finally arrived today. And it comes in this big box <clears throat> with a customs declaration from the UK since I'm in the US. Let's take a peek. Holy moly. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Big. Now I already get a subscription to their little box of crochet, which I love. I am totally addicted to them. I think they're the cutest things ever. And so when I saw that they had a bigger box, I couldn't resist. Let's see what's inside. All right, so it says, Hey, hey, let's crochet. And I like to be kind of a fun gift opener. And instead of saving the sticker, I'll just rip it open. <laughs> so there's the sticker that it came with. Hey, hey, let's crochet. And oh, gold tissue paper. All right, so here we go. It comes with the little booklet. They all come with pattern booklets. This one is the Hugue Ponchette. And these are so well done. They beautifully printed with pictures and a welcome from Amanda. And a little bit about her and the story and the UK versus US term conversion chart. Always nice to have. And then pictures of the pattern and a little bit about the designer. Fun. They always come with a postcard. This one says, I believe. There you go. Fun. All the little extra doodads, bits and bobs that you'll need to do the pattern. one is just the like extra gift I guess it's a golden pine cone necklace <laughs> it's really pretty all right the crochet hook it says what's in here so this one will say it's a A 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter hook. All right. Ooh, fun. Pom pom maker. Big one. So that's going to make those pom poms on there. Ooh. Candle. Big candle. Mmm, that smells lovely. Jar of Wonder, Jar of Light. And it's cinema vibe. Wait, <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that right. I'm trying to read where it says the flavor of the. The um, the candle, and it does say that it's a hand poured soy wax candle with a cotton and linen wick, and the candle will burn slowly and gently and re release a wonderful fragrance to keep you in a cozy mood while you crochet. How nice! So, 
I'm sure. Um, it probably tells me in here, but anyway, we'll move on. Ooh, black chai tea. English tea shop. I like chai, so that'll be lovely. Oh, this tells me what <laughs> the candle uh, fragrance is. It says, a stunning spicy Christmas composition. Warming notes of nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove under pine a glazed orange heart. A must-have Christmas classic. Ah, <sighs> smells divine. I like it. So with my chai tea and crochet project. All right. Oh, and we get a stitch marker. This one has a little bell and a heart with a little gold gem in it. Lovely. These are so cute. And I love them so much that I've been getting extra ones. I got some rainbow uh, feather ones from her shop, a little heart, and another couple um, mermaid scale purple and green ones. So fun. She has different stuff. You should check it out. It's um, coralclaystudio.co.uk. You can find them on Etsy and that kind of thing. And then, oh my gosh, this is a lot of yarn. There's six of them. Six 200 gram 60 meter or 66 yard skeins of size six, so super bulky, 15% um, wool, 85% acrylic, and it's super soft. Oh yeah, that'll make a lovely poncho or ponchette. <sighs> Look at that. like a cloud and it does have a dye lot so I wonder if these are all from the same I mean it's white but cream but it looks like they're all from the same dye lot yep at least three of them um And what's this? One last little thing that says, hey, hey, let's crochet. <clears throat> and there you go. The darning needle or what they call a bodkin in the UK. To weave in your ends. Well, I think I'm off to make <laughs> a poncho. <laughs> All right. Thank you.